Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du Prat, are you ready? Moin alle Guten und willkommen zu der Episode Nenger feiert sich. Und den Titel aus Learn how to continue a conversation in Luxembourgish. In Episode 19, you learned, if you have listened to this episode, how to start a conversation in Luxembourgish. If you haven't listened to that episode, I invite you to go back and to listen to it before continuing with this episode. Now, today, you will learn first the secret to becoming more fluent and improving your Luxembourgish and uh, how to keep a conversation going without running out of things to say. Well, how does that sound? Yes. And we will, at the end of the episode, practice with two sample conversations, an informal one using the do form and the formal one using the dear form. So are you ready to learn this secret and master an everyday conversation? Was du prat? Dan las. So, let's start with the secret to becoming more fluent and improving your Luxembourgish. This is so simple. You might be surprised. But this is ask more questions. Yes. So most of the topics of small conversations, small talk conversations, include an observation followed by a question. And this is the best way to get people talking about themselves. So, for example, let's take now your next holidays. So holidays are always an interesting topic. Usually people like talking about their next holidays. Now, here are some useful questions to start a conversation about that topic. And an easy and straightforward question is, Wohi gehst du das Tjoa ant Vakanz? Wohi gehst du das Tjoa ant Vakanz? Meaning, where are you, so informal, going on holidays this year? Some people may also uh, ask, wo gehst du das Tjoa ant Vakanz? I personally say, wo he, wo he gehst du das Tjoa ant Vakanz? Um, and if you want something more original, then try this. Endlich, die nächste Woche als Schulvakanz. Hut dir schon etwas vier? So, endlich means... Finally, endlich. And then, the next week as school vacations. Next week is school holidays. Hut dir schon etwas vier? And this question is crucial. Hut dir schon etwas vier? Do you, plural, have already something planned? Hut dir schon etwas vier? So remember this. Ich wiederhole, endlich. Die nächste Woche as school vacations. Hut dir schon etwas vier? Or you can start the conversation by saying, Ich fuhren wei immer am Februar an de Wandersport. An du? Gehst du auch am Wander an de Vakanz? So, Ich fuhren wei immer am Februar an de Wandersport. I go, as always, in February in the winter sports. So, an de Wandersport fuhren, it's to go in the winter sport. An du? So, and you informal. Gehst du auch am Winter an Vakanz? Do you go as well on holidays in winter? So, ich wiederhole. Ich fuhren wie immer am Februar an de Wandersport. Und du? Gehst du auch am Winter an Vakanz? 
And it is Antwakans gohen, to go on vacation, or you can say Antwakans fuhren, but it's always the preposition an. Yes. Okay. So, and here now is an example of how not to have a Luxembourgish conversation. Listen carefully. War der Wigan flott? So, did you have a nice weekend? Ja, am dein? Ma ja, auch flott. Hm. Unfortunately, the conversation stops here because there is no natural way to continue it. This is okay if you only want to have a quick conversation. For example, if you are quickly passing a co-worker in the hallway, for example. But how can you have a longer conversation in Luxembourgish? Well, I will share with you two keys to continuing a conversation in Luxembourgish. Key number one. Ask questions that start with the question words wat, weini, wo, für wat, and they, for example. Of course, we have many other question words, but these ones are already very useful. So, and check as well the meaning of all these the question was so wat, weini, wo, für wat, wei, wei lang, okay? And try to avoid Yes, no questions. Yeah. And the key number two is, in your answers, give one or two details that will help continue the conversation. Okay, So you don't need to talk for a long time, but small details that will help the other person to ask another question back on what you've just said. Okay, well, are you ready to practice now with two example conversations? As I told you at the beginning, first an informal one using the do form, so when you know each other, and a formal one using the dear form uh, where you are more in a formal situation. Okay, notice how each person adds one or two details, and then there is a follow up question about the details. You will hear the conversation first in slow spoken Luxembourgish and then in natural spoken Luxembourgish. Moyen, an, wie war dein Weekend? Ziemlich flott. Samstag waren wir bei Frenn angeladen. Am Sonntag war ich mit meiner Kanna an der Kino. Flott? Was sind dir da gucken gang? Den Emoji. An? Wie waren? Der Kanna hat den Film natürlich gut gefallen. Und du? Was hast du den Weekend gemacht? Nicht so viel. Am Samstag sind wir da heimgeblieben, am Sonntagmorgen ging ich ja immer laufen. Ah so? Wie lange lebst du dann? Normalerweise tischt 45 Minuten an einer Stunde. Lebst du allein? Ja, leider. Hast du Lust, ein Kajamat zu kommen? Oh, nee, da hat aus nicht Menges. Ich geh just gern schwammen. Ah, wohin gehst du da schwammen? Okay, so and here you see how a natural conversation flows, always ending with a question to the other person. A low wiederholen ist Konversation äh, normal geschwart. Ja. Moin, an, wie war dein Weekend? Und ziemlich flott. Samstag waren wir bei Frenn angeladen, an Sonntag war ich mit meiner Kanne am Kino. Hau oh, flott, was seid ihr da gucken gegangen? Den Emoji. An, wie waren? Der Kanne hat den Film natürlich gut gefallen. Und du, was hast du den Weekend gemacht? Boah, nicht so viel. Am Samstag bin ich zu Hause geblieben, am Sonntag bin ich schon immer laufen. Ah so, wie lange liefst du dann? Normalerweise tischst du 45 Minuten an einer Stunde. Liefst du allein? Ja, leider. Hast du Lust, ein Kermatt zu kommen? Oh nee, da das nicht mehr Ich gehe jetzt gerne schwammen. Ah, wo gehst du da schwammen? Okay. So let's just uh, pick up some uh, expressions, for example. Oh, nee, 
dat as net menges. Dat as net menges is a useful expression to express that is not my cup of tea. Dat as net menges, that is not my cup of tea. And then a hus du lust en kea matze kommen, also very useful. Hus du lust en kea matze kommen is would you like to come with me once? So would you like to, do you fancy coming with me once? Okay, good. So let's then move over to the conversation number two. The formal one, so using the dear form. It's a shorter but very interesting um, conversation between two neighbors. Yes? And uh, first you will hear it in slow spoken Luxembourgish and then in natural spoken Luxembourgish. Oh, my dear Madame Beffert. Oh, what a flotten dag. It is so warm. Bal we am summer. Ja, that is woa. Ich freue mich immens auf die Summe. Ich gehe den ganzen August mit meiner Familie an die Vakanz. Oh, wo geht dir dann? Ma ja, wir gehen nach Korsika. Wir haben ein großes Haus mit Schwamm gelohnt. War dir schon do? Ja, ich war einmal do. Aber da das schon lang hier. An dir? Hu dir schon etwas geplant für de Summe? Nee, noch nicht. Ich geh vielleicht ein paar dich ob Wien frön besichern. Me, du fegin ich am Oktober drei Wochen am Thailand. Ho flott? Für wat grad am Thailand? Ma ja, mein best Freundin. And then you can continue on such a um, conversation. Again, in this conversation, we end a sentence always with a question. So, um, let's he listen to this conversation in natural spoken Luxembourgish. Was de flotten dag, Madame Beffert, das is so warm. Bal we am summer. Ja, dat is voor. An ich freue mich immens op de summer. Ich ging de ganzen August mit meiner Familie an die Vakanz. Oh, Wo hier geht ihr dann? Ma ja, mir gehen nach Korsika. Mir haben ein großes Haus mit Schwamm gelohnt. Wart ihr schon do? Ja, ich war eh mal do. Aber das ist schon lang hier. An dir? Hat ihr schon etwas geplant für die Summe? Nee, noch nicht. Ich gehe vielleicht ein paar Tage auf Wien, Frühen besichern. Mir darf ich gehen nicht am Oktober drei Wochen an Thailand. Auf Flott? Wie wird gerade an Thailand? Mo jo, mein best Freundin wund. Okay. I will pick num some um, useful expressions or questions. The one, war dir schon do? Wart dir schon do? Natural, war dir schon do? Meaning, have you ever been there? Have you ever been in uh, Corsica? War dir schon a Corsica? Okay. And then um, the neighbor is answering, Oh, da das schon lang hier, da das schon lang hier, meaning that was a long time ago. And we stay here in the present tense. Da das schon lang hier, that was a long time ago. So remember this, da das schon lang hier. And then maybe, ich gehe vielleicht ein paar Dich auf jeden Fall besichern. No, I think all the rest um, is normal language. Okay. That was it for today's uh, conversation workout. And this is more the level A2, B1. And I recommend that you listen to it again so that you get used how to uh, handle a conversation uh, with your neighbors in an informal situation or even with um, with a person you don't uh, know so much. Okay, And uh, I will try to have one conversation um, work out once a month because I have been asked this uh, for many students and I think this is helpful for you. So, merci für das Nolaustern und um, bis nächste Woche, wie immer. Adieu!